What is up, guys? I'm so excited to open and unbox this. This is the, um, uh, what's it say here? The Almost Complete series includes over 19 hours of delirious and hilarious content. This is the complete series of the Ren and Stippy show. I used to love, love this show when I was a kid. Um, it's, what would you even call it? It's fucking, it's absurd. It's gross. It's stupid. It's silly. But I just, I loved it growing up. And it's, it's, it was, uh, I'm not even sure what else to describe it. If you don't, if you've never seen the episodes before, it's just, it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> They're a very weird show. Uh, what's his face? This, I don't know if you can see it here. Oh, not there. John, it's from, the series is created by a guy named John K. I think his name is John Chris Felucci or something like that. He was, I don't know if I want to even get into his story. He was only on the series, even though he created it. He was only on the series for the first season. And there's like five seasons here. He was a, um, how would I put this? He was kind of a grade A asshole. Like he, he hated all other animation styles after like the 40s or 50s. And he was very vocal about that. He hated everything after like Hanna-Barbera. So his cartoons, uh, uh, um, I almost said Tom and Jerry, not Tom and Jerry, Ren and Snippy, were very much in that vein animation wise, but the humor itself was very like toilety humor, pot, uh, potty mouths, potty stuff, like just dirty, silly, weird. Very weird, honestly, if you've never seen the show. If you watch an episode, it's going to be weird for you. Um, but, like I said, kind of irreverent and just interesting, and I think it really changed the game. It really, I, I to be defined. A generation of cartoons. Um, watching this on Nickelodeon back in the day was just something to behold. They don't have that as much anymore, but again, I guess they don't watch TV the same way back like they did back then. But, uh, it's just different. I bought this off of uh, Amazon for, honestly, I was surprised. It was like 15 bucks, like, for all five seasons. I thought that was really cheap for this set. But, uh, I'm happy to get it. Of course, it's not in Blu-ray. It's only in DVD. I have no idea if I'll ever get these on um, Blu-ray. We got here seasons first and second season, season three and a half ish, and then season five and some more of four. Look at these fuckers. John K. Oh, there's uh, Mr. Horse, I believe is his name. I don't think he has a name besides Mr. Horse. And I'm not going to read these because they're all whatever. You idiot. You push the history eraser button. The history eraser button. <laughs> oh, I want to watch these right now. Uh, includes unedited versions of Sven Hoek, Big House Blues, Dog Show, and Powdered Toast Man. Oops. Come on. I'm pushing the wrong fucking thing. What am I doing? I want to focus back here. Powdered Toast Man. Bonus features not rated. This is from 91 to 93. What's the next one from? 93, 94, and then I'm saying 94, 95. 95 to 96. Wow. And that is Muddy Mudskipper, I believe. What the fuck? They're very fucking weird. <laughs> and that's Potter Toast Man. Look at that. He. Oh. Fucking, I'm, I'm already geeking out looking at this stuff. I haven't watched the show in forever. I think I got a couple burn discs from back in the day. But I only have like a couple discs, so this is really cool to have here now. And that quality wasn't very good, so I don't know if... Yeah, this would be better. So yeah, anyway, let's open these up because I'm just dying to get into it. I guess there's not really much to show besides the disc. This is that old packaging you can see too, which the um, has just the single discs, I think, in each case, which I feel like is kind of a waste of space and plastic and all that, but that's just how they did it back in the 2000s or whatever. What, what uh, year was this made? Doesn't say, or I can't find it, whatever. The discs, them, I mean, these, the cases themselves are kind of banged up. I don't know if you can tell on the um, um, video screen here, but you can see the top here is kind of crunched, the sides are squished, this is all, this is kind of flimsy. It's kind of lame actually, but uh, like I said, you're not going to get 
much better than this. Like I said, I paid like for five bucks per package in here, so that's a pretty good deal. Disc one, disc two, and disc three. Yeah, just one disc per, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's an uh, obsession with like asses and stuff and like touching and like, it was weird. Fucking goofy. The background is just kind of whatever, but that's all right. Okay, episodes we got here. We got Stimpy's Big Day, The Big Shot, Robin Hook, Nurse Stimpy, Space Madness. I remember that one. The Boy Who Cried Rat, Fire Dogs. That's a kind of a famous episode. The Littlest Giant, Marooned, Untamed World, Black Hole, Stimpy's Invention. There's actually a video game, I think, called Stimpy's Invention on the Sega Genesis. I remember playing as a kid. 2004, okay, that's when these were released. Damn, these are old. Very cool. So it's the same thing. It's not very much inside here, but uh, this looked just fine. Thankfully. We've got Ren's Toothache. I remember that one too. That's fucking, yeah. Rubber Nipple Salesman. Paranoid Mr. Horse. Yeah, that's really creepy. Sven Hoek, Haunted House. Mad Dog Hook, In the Army, Big House Blues, Big Baby Scam, and The Dog Show. Mr. Worse again. Hm. Yeah, fucking, yeah. Just geeking out. Sorry, guys. I'm not saying much here. Monkey See, Monkey Don't, Powdered Toast Man, which is such a fucking, like, <laughs> so fucking weird. What's this say? Fake Dad, Out West, Stippy's Fan Club, Great Outdoors, The Cat That Laid the Golden Hairball, Visit to Anthony. What does that say? Visit to Anthony? Visit to a young man named Anthony threatens to destroy all his useful fantasies. Anthony's overprotective father threatens to destroy him. I don't recall that episode. Hmm. The Royal Canadian Killed the Axeman. I remember that. Son of Stippy's Stippy's First Fart. <laughs> okay, that's right. That's a weird episode. And Man's Best Friend. I think that's the one that was banned. Because there was they were like beating people to death or something like that. I forget. I don't remember. But like I said, this is the only season that has John K. actually like involved from beginning to end. He notoriously was very bad with deadlines. And uh, he would constantly not be finished on time. They'd be pushing back all the time. He would fight with everyone. He was, he's a very argumentative person. And um, he had a... Uh, and actually, just recently, it's, it's um, April right now, and um, that I'm filming this anyway. This might be seeing this later than that, but uh, um, in the last week or two, um, some allegations came out that he was being very um, sexually inappropriate with other female animators and stuff on at Nick Nickelodeon and stuff on this show and others. So uh, he's also a fucking creeper too. That's not helpful. Season three and a half. Oh, actually, let's see what the special features were on here. Special features are the band episode, Man's Best Friend. So yeah, I was right about that. Ren Stimpy in the beginning, feature read, audio commentary, and six episodes by the original Spumco team, storyboard, and Spumco image gallery, Sven Hoek, pencil test, and more. Spumco is the, um, I think it's the studio that John K. created. Like, um, uh... Well, I guess uh, to a much larger extent, like Pixar, you know, Spumco was its own little studio. But obviously not the same, even remotely the same size as Pixar. This is in slightly better shape. It's not as dinged up. We got audio commentaries, 11 cartoons with John Kay and original anime team. So he's doing commentary, so he must have actually had input on these episodes, but he wasn't working there anymore. I thought he wasn't working there after the first season, but what the hell do I know? Uh, but for the first time ever, here, Ren and Stimpy on Ren and Stimpy. I don't know what that means. They're going to have them commentary? That's weird. Also, Stimpy, of course, was um, voiced by Billy West, who was famous for, well, for this show, and then he was obviously on Futurama. And um, lots of other shit. You've heard his voice before. Doug, 
things like that. This is a little bit sturdier box than the other one was. Look, there he is again, showing his ass. And just three. Same deal, the back one's not three. You know, interesting, but who cares? We have to salve and salve not. No pants today, a yard too far. Circus midgets, which I probably couldn't say that on TV anymore. Ren's Pex, I don't remember that one. <laughs> and Abe Divided, oh, that's a good one too, with that uh, Mickey Memorial, and they're trying to defend it by some fucking weirdo or whatever. Stippy's Cartoon Show, that's this up here. It makes a cartoon show, and it's really fucking bad. Jiminy Lummox and Bassmasters. Booger spread. Yeah, so again, that's the humor that's on this show. I actually kind of wonder if I'm even going to like this show. Now that I... It's been so long since I watched it. Maybe it's more nostalgic than good. It wouldn't surprise me, but... Uh, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Ren's Retirement. Jury the Belly Button Elf. Road Apples Hard Time for Haggis. Hard Times for Haggis, excuse me. Eat My Cookies, Ren's Bitter Half, Lair of the Lummox, and Hermit. What the fuck's that say? I can't see if it's name. Oh, Hermit. Hermit Wren. I recall that one, too. I recall all these, actually, just to some extent, anyway. Put them back now. House of Next Tuesday. That was a so cool idea. A Friend in Your Face. Um, blazing Entrails. Lumber Jerks. Prehistoric Stimpy. Farm Hands. Magical Golden Singing Cheeses. A Hard Day's Luck. I Love Chicken. Powder Toast Man vs. Waffle Woman. It's a Dog's Life. Ego, egg, yolk, egg Yokio. Egg Yokio? Is that what that says? Pinocchio? I don't recognize some of these. Maybe I haven't seen this one as much. The first two scenes is the one I see the, the most of. Still cool, though. And that was season three and, like, part of season four or whatever that would be. And then I finally got season five and some more of four. So that, the rest of season four and then all of season five. I honestly did not realize it had that many seasons. I thought it was just about three seasons, but I guess it broke it up like that. Come on, what the fuck? I got it. This one's a bit more banged up too. See, then look at that, that's destroyed. Lame. Let's see, close the second half, season four, all of season five. See, now he's not really a stinky whistle teats. Rejoin to his range and reflect. Taste bedtime tales, help Reverend Jack Cheese spread. I don't think I've seen much of this season at all. At all. 13 audio commentaries from both the Spumco and the games and amazing teams. Plus, rest of me, rest of me. Mental advisory explicit content warning this program is recommended for mature audiences only. It contains adult language situations. So it's not a children's show. MT was this the MTV Networks? Did it always say that? Yeah, what the hell? The first season, the first collection does not, but these last two say MTV Networks, a Viacom company. Huh. I didn't know that. This one is Mr. Horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Playing background, of course. I guess it's not plain, but it's just kind of a whatever. You know what I mean. And we've got Double Header, Scotsman in Space, Pixie King, Aloha Hweck, Insomniac Ren, My Shiny Friend, Cheese Rush Days, Wiener, Bar Wiener Barons. Glute Wranglers, Ren needs help. What the fuck? Look at that. He's farting into a thing and it's, it's just 
close. This too, with powdered toast man on the front. Old Blue Nose, Stupid Sidekick Union, Superstitious Stimpy. I recognize that episode. That's the 2 to the 17th episode, I think. And he's considered Ren the luckiest dog in the world. Huh. Travelogue, Space Dog, Feud for Sale, Hair of the Cat, City Hicks, Stimpy's Pet, Ren's Brain, Bellhop's Dog Tags. So, I really recognize maybe two episodes on here. I, I've probably seen them, but... Funny, I don't rec I don't recognize these ones as much. I've seen these a lot less than the other seasons. And the final disc, disc three. And this says, "I was a teenage Stimpy, who's stupid now? Schoolmates, dinner party, pen pals, big flakes, terminal Stimpy, Reverend Jack Cheese, a scooter for Yaxmas, Sammy and me, the last temptation of Ren." I don't recognize many of those. Huh. Cool, though. I've probably seen them all, but I just don't remember the names of them or seen them as often. I've seen the first season, I think, multiple, multiple times. But uh, these last ones I have not seen as often. Classic cartoons. They also have This first one says Collector's Edition box set. I don't think it's very collectible, exactly. But um, I have a feeling they just say that. <laughs> These might say classic cartoons. So yeah, I guess that's it. I'm excited to have this. This was one of my favorite shows as a kid. It's uh, not necessarily fantastic television, but it's uh, irreverent and um, iconic, at least for its style and what it started doing with uh, animation. But um, you know what I mean. So that's it, guys. That's uh, the entirety of Rinse TV. There's actually... Um, in like 2005 or something, something like that, um, John K. made another season or series or whatever you'd call it of Ren Snippy for like Spike TV or something, and um, uh, he had more freedom to do whatever he wanted. And I think Nickelodeon, if you can imagine these episodes, these seasons, this is still stuff that was you know, Nickelodeon was like in sh involved with this and didn't let him do as much so that, that, that was what this was John K reserved and kind of you know handcuffed a little bit so like, you can imagine given freedom what he would do he went he basically shat the bed with that it was um not funny if I recall correctly and also incredibly like homophobic or something or it was weird like they, they, there were all of these overt overtones or whatever that uh, ran to were gay or something sort of like Bert and Ernie I guess but uh, in that like five or six episode series they made it very apparent that they were gay and it was kind of vulgar and weird and um very gross actually with the there were a lot of there was some booger stuff that was involved they were living inside some like bums like nose or something I, it was it was not very good and i don't recall laughing at all it was just kind of uh, ruining the series that you remember but anyway they only aired like half of it before they canceled it and uh I actually don't know what John Kay's done since besides get in trouble with sexual harassment. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, I recommend the show. If you've, if you've never seen it, like, I don't know. Um, you can probably find episodes or two on YouTube, so maybe check it out and see it. I recommend it as at least uh, checking it out because it's iconic. But um, anyway, I like the show. At least I think I did. I guess I'll find out <laughs> if it's ruined by watching it now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.